Well, hello, YouTube. Hey, guys, it's Fletch. Welcome back to the Fletch BZ MMT channel. Today, guys, we are looking at a 20 ounce framing hammer. And uh, a framing hammer is a very uh, unique tool <clears throat> in that uh, it's quite a bit larger than a regular hammer. It has a longer handle than you know a typical uh, you know claw type hammer, so that it can generate more impact when you're uh, driving in like a 16 penny hand drive framing nail. <clears throat> Uh, also, you know, in difference to a claw hammer, uh, you know, your claw doesn't come quite so far over here, and that's so that if you need to get out a big nail, <clears throat> you can lock it in like this, and then you just rock it out like that. <clears throat> and uh, also, the face of it here has um, <clears throat> looks kind of like a, a meat tender meat tenderizer in that you know it's um, kind of checkerboarded in there and so it's very rough and very abrasive and that's so that <clears throat> your hammer doesn't glance off the nail the head rather the head of a nail and um, <clears throat> for someone that you know was looking to be able to do some building <clears throat> in a um, you know bad situation this is the tool that you would want to have because you know, most houses now are built with uh, nail guns that run by air compressors. <clears throat> and well obviously those are not going to work so you're going to want one of these. Well <clears throat> if this is what you want because you've done your research you know that this is the tool that you need don't let anyone else tell you what you want or what you need if you've done your research and or you know what you're talking about. Hi, yeah, uh, I'd like to get a uh, 20 ounce framing hammer. You know. Tactical AK-47. No, I, I didn't see any back by the framing hammers. Do you, you have any you know, 20 ounce or maybe a, a 24 or 26 ounce framing hammer? Well shoot son, what you gonna be using it for? Well, uh, you know, I, I, I need a framing hammer and so, you know, to drive in 16 penny nails and what, you know, to frame houses or, you know, to build things if need be. Well, shoot, son, nowadays everyone uses nail guns. What the hell you want one of them for? Well, <laughs> uh, I've built lots of houses, and, uh, you know, I, I've done, you know, I'm not, you know, so I know what I'm talking about, and, you know, um, just, you know, for whatever reason, in case, you know, I, I need to hand drive something, at the very least, you know, I, I would like, you know, a nice, you know, 20... You know, yeah, at least a 20 ounce, maybe a 24 or 26 ounce framing hammer. Do you have any? <laughs> well, shoot, son, that ain't what you want. Now, let me show you here what you really want. That right there, that's what you really want. Sporterized Winchester version of 1917 6 you yeah, see, because this here doubles as a splitting mall, but you see the back side of that right there, the back side of that shoot son, you hit a nail with that, it's going to be one shot, one kill right there. <clears throat> you hit the head of the nail with that thing and you drive it in, you know, bam, one shot. Uh, well, no, that, that's not what I want. Uh, that's way too big. It takes way too much effort to swing it every time. And God forbid I miss, uh, I'm going to tear something up. That's not what I want. Well, son, I sold six of these this week. This is what you want right here. <clears throat> no, I'm sorry. That, that's not what I want. Uh, you know, do you have any framing hammers? 
Well, son, I suppose if you're going to be that way about it, I can probably find one for you. <clears throat> there you are right there. There's your Freeman hammer right there. Ruger 1022, 22 long rifle. <clears throat> uh, well, that looks like a framing hammer. However, that's not anywhere near 20 ounces. <laughs> well, shoot, son, ain't no one swings a hammer that big. What the hell you need that for? <clears throat> well, <laughs> I've already explained that to you, and, you know, frankly, it doesn't really matter why I want it or need it. You know, that that's what I want. Yes, this, you know, looks exactly like a framing hammer, but uh, I'd say that's probably a, a 10 ounce framing hammer. And, you know, the, the face of the head there isn't checkered either. And, you know, that's, that's not what I want. Well, shoot, son, let me see what I got in here then. Hang on. All right. There we go right there. That's what you want. Remington 700 chambered in 243 Winchester. That's what you really want right there. You know, it, it's not as big as that splitting wall, and you know, it, it's not as small as that 10 ounce framing type hammer. And you know, let me tell you what, man, you hit one of them sun gun nails with that thing, and you know, it means some business. Well, <laughs> Again, that's not what I want. I want a framing hammer. And not only that, but that's quite a bit bigger than, you know, <clears throat> a, a 20 ounce framing hammer. That's probably a two pound sledge there. And not only that, but that doesn't have a, a claw on the back to remove nails. That's not what I want. Do you have any framing hammers? Well, shoot, son, hang on. Let me see what I got back here. All right, there you go, right there. That's what you want. Winchester 3030 lever action rifle. <laughs> no, that's that's not what I want. That is a, I don't know, maybe a 12 ounce claw hammer or something like that. You know, that's that's not a, a framing hammer. <clears throat> that's that's not the tool that I that I want. You know, I I know what I'm doing, and I want a you know a 20 ounce framing hammer, not you know like this 12 ounce claw hammer. Well, <laughs> shoot, son, you're just gonna hurt yourself. One of them big old you know 20 ounce, 24 ounce framing hammers. This right here is all you need right here. Anybody that tells you you need anything different, this is a dumbass, and they don't know what they're talking about. I have sold over a hundred of these in the last year alone. This is what you need right here. Well, uh, again, this is not a framing hammer. You know, the, the claw on it is too steep. You can't really use it to get out nails the same way. <clears throat> the uh, head of the face there is not checkered. And it's not heavy enough, you know, I'd have to hit, you know, a nail a lot of times to get that to work. I need a framing hammer. Do you have any framing hammers, 20 ounces uh, or larger? That's what I want. I know, I know what I'm doing, and that's what I want. Do you have any? Well, shoot, son, you're sounding like you're getting a little bit of attitude there. Let me see what I got. Hang on. <clears throat> All right, there you go right there. That's what you want. Well, uh, no, actually, that's, that's not what I want. That's basically the exact same thing that you just brought out here. Uh, it's a different color, but it's pretty much the exact same thing. That is not what I want. That is not what I asked for. Well, son, I told you, you know, we sell hundreds and hundreds of these, and, you know, this is what you need right here. Now, I don't know how else to explain this to you. You know, maybe you're a little thick in the head or something, you know, but, you know, this is all you need to drive in nails. Sir, <laughs> uh, again, you know, I, I framed for a lot of years. I built a lot of houses. I know what I'm talking about. 
this is not what I want. I want a 20 ounce framing hammer. Do you have any 20 ounce framing hammers? Well, you know, I got one more hammer back here. Let, let, let me go check. Let me go check. I'll be right back. All right, there you go, right there. That is one sweet hammer right there. I'll tell you now, that hammer right there do you proud every time. High Point 45 ACP semi-automatic handgun. More handy than a roll full of duct tape. <laughs> uh, sir, that, that's, that's not even close to what I asked for. You know, this, this isn't anywhere near big enough. That's actually a ball peen hammer. <laughs> yeah, you can't even use that to... Well, shoot, son, you don't want to be carrying around no big-ass 20-ounce hammer. That's too damn heavy. This is a nice light hammer right here. And you know what? You just keep hitting that enough times, and that nail's going to go in, and you're not going to be anywhere near as tired when you're done hammering because you're not swinging that big-ass hammer. This right here is what you need. This hammer right here will do you proud every time. <laughs> Sir, uh, again, that's not what I, that's not what I asked for, that's not what I need. Do you have any 20 ounce or larger framing hammers? <laughs> and there she son, <clears throat> you know, I didn't want to say it, but bless your heart, you just ain't the sharpest knife in the drawer, is you? I done told you, you don't need or want a 20 ounce or larger framing hammer. Now, son, you just get on out of here because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Well, uh, well I, I don't understand why you're telling me to leave. And, you know, obviously, if you're telling me to leave, then I've offended you. And, you know, that, that definitely wasn't my intention. So please forgive me. You know, that, that's not what I wanted. Uh, however, yeah, you know, I, I'm a little frustrated. <clears throat> Uh, you know, I, I've explained this thoroughly to you, and you showed me everything except for what I asked for. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty frustrated right now. And, you know, uh, I'd like to do business with you, and, you know, I, I assume that you're trying to help me, and that you have my, my best interest in, in mind. And, you know, I understand that these hammers that you've shown me previously may have been the right thing for other people, or you. But for me, they're not. It's not what I need, it's not what I want, and you know, I need and want a 20 ounce framing hammer. Do you have one? Well, man, shoot, son. I accept your apology, and you know, I'm sorry too, and you know, I, I am looking out for you, and you know, anyone with a half a brain knows that a hammer is a hammer. And, you know, you look like maybe you have half a brain. You know what? I tell you what, I just got something new in. Oh, yeah, you're going to love it. It's awesome. All right, here we go, right here. That's the newest and latest and greatest. AR-15. Now, see, if you look right here on the back, you got yourself a hammer. And if you look right here on there, that's for pulling out nails. All you got to do is you just slide it up the nail head up in there and you lift up on it and it'll even pull out a hammer, or a nail rather. And the best thing about this hatchet right here is not only that it doubles as a, a claw hammer, but should the zombie apocalypse ever descend upon us, you've got yourself a hatchet right there. Wow. That's what you need right there. That's what you really want. You look like one of them zombie apocalypse guys, don't you? Uh, no. I'm not a zombie apocalypse guy. I do believe in being prepared, but again, that's definitely not what I asked for. That's not what I want. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty frustrated right now. You know, I, I'd really like to do business with you, but, uh, you know, this is like the sixth or seventh uh, hammering type tool that you showed me other than what I want. And, you know, 
<laughs> my patience is growing really thin. Do you have any 20 ounce framing hammers? Yes or no? Don't bring anything else out here, show me. Just tell me. Yes or no? Do you have any 20 ounce framing hammers that I can buy from you? We in there, show not. I, you know, I don't know what's going on here, but I just am not comfortable. I can just feel it in my heart. I know something is wrong. And you just, you've got some anger management issues there, don't you, son? Well, uh, <laughs> no. I, I, I've been, you know, pretty polite to you this whole time. And, you know, I know what I want, I know what I need, but you showed me everything other than what I want, what I need. And, you know, I, I'm trying to do business with you. And, you know, you're showing me everything other than what I want and what I need. Yep, yep, that's just what I figured. You're one of them zombie apocalypse types. You're one of them what they call, what, uh, social path type of guys. You know what? I'm just, I'm, I'm not going to do business with you. I just refuse to do business with you. You don't know your ass from a hole in the ground. Yes, all of these are hammers. Yes, all of these will drive in a nail. Yes, all of these would get the job done. However, none of these hammers will do the job the same as this. When you are watching videos and listening to people give advice on YouTube, <clears throat> Make sure you understand where they're coming from. Make sure you understand what their perspective is. Make sure you understand that the information that they're giving you is unbiased. Make sure that the information that they're giving you <clears throat> is not based on their opinion of what is right for you. If you have experience and you know what you're doing, then do what you know. Stay with what you're comfortable with. If for whatever reason you have reason to think that maybe something else might be a, a better option, thoroughly research it. Ask to talk to different people, you know, talk to different people about it. Find out, you know, the <clears throat> the positive, positive and negatives of those things. And you know, make, make an informed decision and don't allow anyone else to tell you what you should have. Don't allow anyone else to tell you you have to have this or you have to have that or you're just a dumbass if you have this or if you don't have that. And because <laughs> there's a lot, of, a lot of people out there like that, especially right now on YouTube. So, you know, again, if you know what you need, if you know what you want and you've made an informed decision don't allow anyone else to tell you what you should or shouldn't have okay and also guys something else to take into consideration here is that like I said earlier you know each one of these <coughs> hammers or tools could be used as a hammer to drive in a nail but each one of these is specifically built and made for a specific purpose. There's a reason why there's not just one hammer. The same is true with firearms. You know, the, it's kind of like saying, you know, well, you know, <clears throat> uh, you know, all rifles are going to kill people, and you know. <clears throat> You don't need, you know, five different rifles just to kill people. You know, one rifle should kill enough people. <laughs> well, yes and no, right? You know, just like even this big old, uh, you know, combination sledgehammer that's got, you know, uh, <clears throat> an area on the back here that you could use as a hammer. Um, <clears throat> that's not what it's made for. Each one of these hammers has a very specific... Uh, application or applications that they would be good and that they would use for. Yes, it's true that every single one of these should be able to drive in a nail. But 
none of them are a 20 ounce framing hammer. And in the scenario that I gave you, this is a good tool. This is a good solution. None of these other hammers here are as good of a solution as this. So if you have someone trying to tell you <laughs> that uh, you know you don't need five different hammers <clears throat> because they all drive in nails, well, there's a corollary, corollary there, right? It's the same with firearms. Rifles, pistols, different things like that, they all have a different purpose. Not one fits everything. Uh, as an example, this is a framing hammer. And that checkered face on there, if you're trying to do finish work and you miss, you're going to leave pecker tracks from the head of that hitting your, you know, your fine wood. Whereas something like this, a regular claw hammer, that's not going to leave pecker tracks. <clears throat> you don't need a sledgehammer, right? It's too big. Splitting mall hammer combo is certainly too big. If you wanted to do finish work, something like that would be perfect. But this is not for framing. This is. So make sure that you understand what the application is that you need it for and get the right tool for the job. Hey guys, so um, <clears throat> one last thought here. Um, just like we've been talking about that none of these other hammers are 20 ounce framing hammer. <clears throat> this 20 ounce framing hammer is a nice 20 ounce framing hammer. I've used it you know, pretty extensively. You can see the, the face on there is pretty worn down and uh, you know this will get the job done very efficiently very well and um, <clears throat> but also beware that there are those out there that are going to try to upsell you and try to make you unsatisfied with this hammer you know because what you really need is a titanium head what you really need is a space age composite handle what you really need is uh you know a fancy checkered uh you know no slip grip on there that that's what you really need <clears throat> well <laughs> firearms are a lot like tools um <clears throat> you know if we were like maybe comparing this hammer as an ar-15 you know <clears throat> you can get a decent ar-15 uh, for about a thousand dollars for the average guy that's you know that's going to be <clears throat> uh, a good AR-15 like, likewise uh, this hammer here costs probably between twenty five and thirty dollars something like that and uh, again you know this is a great tool gets the job done efficiently does a good job but if we want to upgrade this to a titanium head and a space age uh, polymer handle and uh, you know fancy grip on there you'd be looking at well over a hundred dollars well that's considerably more expensive right do i really need all of that stuff or is this going to do the job for me just like a rifle or a pistol uh, you know, we were using AR-15s as an example earlier. If <clears throat> if this is, uh, let's say, something that's you know pretty close to being mil spec, but it's not completely mil spec, but you know, for as often as I'm going to use it, that's you know more than likely is going to be way more than way more than I'm ever going to be able to push it to to the point of failure. Do I really need a two thousand dollar AR-15. Do I really need a hundred dollar hammer to efficiently get the job done and do it well? Something to think about. Happiness, full drum.